Hello folks, welcome back. We are charging towards the end. We're in the coastal cave. We are almost to the end game here. Once this loads up. Mm, probably, maybe one video after this, depending on... Uh, I don't remember chapter 14 being very long, but... Uh, There's, we'll have access to at least two endings, so we'll have to see. And depending on what endings I unlock here, I might load one of the old, uh, might load my other game. Where I drank a lot and willingly did all of Leviathan's things in the last chapter, and uh, or the chapter before last. And where I, uh basically went completely bonkers and wasn't even trying. <coughs> the voice. I can't hear the voice anymore. <laughs> hmm. There's the whaling station. No journal. Oh, we're doing the uh, injured walk again. Okay. That's that's great. Yeah, we have no light. We have no inventory. We got nothing. This is we're just walking while the uh, whaling station burns. Wow, I am I'm I am sorry if this is making anybody else seasick. It's getting a little you are trapped. rough for me. Yeah, I'm not sure who Truth is. Keep going. My God. You afraid of heights, too, Pierce? Way. Stand up. Walk. Um. Well, the game's going to keep playing itself for me. I'll just sit here with my hands in my lap. Is somebody there? Hey. Mm, still not you? playing. Glorified cutscene. Good question. Well, I think, yep, okay. I get to play again. I don't... No, I don't have time to go back. Yeah. I must go to Sarah. And it's not going to let me skip. Oh my god, this, this, this staggering walking effect is really harsh. The miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. Oh, this visual effect is just killing me, your game. To our fallen crew members, they have given their lives for a greater purpose. The last name added is that of Charles Hawkins. I'm willing to bet that they killed all the survivors of the miraculous catch. Mm, no, they killed the ones that, uh... Killed some of them. It always comes back to the Scylla. It was where it all began. What a name for a ship, by the way.
It will soon be time, Edward Pierce. You are dead. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy, too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No! Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. Why are we right now? No, that's not happening. What has happened to you? Oh, Pierce. You insist on ignoring the truth when it's right there in front of you. Sarah Hawkins saw you as you really are. This painting is the proof. This is madness. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Call them. You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Fuller. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. Hmm. Yeah, all of those change your uh, thing too. You're mistaken. I believe no more in destiny than I do in vampires, gods, and their female prophets. Oh, well done. That was really impressive. Again, this denial. It doesn't matter anymore. The future is now but an image that Sarah Hawkins has painted for you. Why don't you go and join her? You who believe in nothing. And then, you'll see. You'll see that there are truths so powerful, so overwhelming, that even a mind as narrow as yours cannot withstand them. And what is your truth, Cole? What is your role in this story? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our oracle. And I wish I could translate Zothic, but I don't think that's actual Zothic. I think they just kind of made it up. Sarah, tell me where you took her. We'll find her at Alabaster Point. I'm going to get her. Don't try to stop me. Of course. Shut up. Get out of my way. Stop hiding the dead. No one can fight with you. Neither them, nor you. Resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. What happened to me? Sarah. I must go to Sarah. She is the Oracle. She will know what to do. No, dumbass, leave. Go, just... Get out. Go away. Go back to town. Go back to the mainland. Tell the dude his daughter's dead. Oops. Well, 
Well, okay, alabaster point. So now we're getting to the end game. Uh, if I recall right, it's basically a uh, walk down a hallway, dialogue, end. But we'll see. Nah, I don't want to do it. Nope, nope, oh, okay. okay. No journal, no light, no nothing. No more character points, no more character advancement, no notes. So I guess I missed a hidden object somewhere that I'm never going to find. Reality as you know it stops here. None of this makes sense. Go! She is waiting. You know, he can be kind of a dick, truth. Hey, look. I, I, there's a little tentacle there. Oh, tentacle right there. Yeah, we got, uh, we got a Cthulhu sighting, folks. It's supposed to make sense it is Call of Cthulhu. No, you can't run either, but at least we're no longer staggering. Conclusions? Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. Okay. I like the uh, shale stonework they've got here. This is very... very Lovecrafty, and I, I hate using that word, but... Uh, they're lots of scenes in various mythos stories and I always you stand up and yet here you are you never give up that is not you not anymore not since your disappearance on the docks ah detective so easy to fool you so eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress you won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. Please stop twitching. Anyway, um, every time I picture you know, mythos cities and, I mean, not necessarily the floating blocks there, but the, the rough cut, rough hewn, kind of shale-ish. No, I always kind of picture this. I, I really like the uh, art design here, is what I'm saying. For all the frustrations of the game. Hey, Algy. Oh no, Charles. You took everything from me. Wife. Life. Destiny. You first took your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. 
don't have the slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? Yeah, Pierce, you're looking like hell. You got some scarring on your chest there. Okay, we can't look around behind him. Open your eyes. You are the most important human on Earth. I don't know. I don't know. So, you've decided to shut your eyes. Find refuge in denial like a spooked child. Sounds like Algernon's voice. And to think mankind's future is on your shoulders. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I'm a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? You rejected her half-truths. Yeah, poor Pierce is completely bonkers. I really wonder if it's possible to get through the game without being psychotic. Because I, I tried. I mean, I may not have done a great job, but I, I, I tried to keep from going psychotic. Oh, hey, look at that. Whirlpool. I mean, and more tentacles. I mean, you, you, I... You saw me. I, I tried to get by without looking at Leviathan, but that was forced. It's right there. I'm almost there. Man, these would be some really difficult steps to climb, by the way. All right. go. Final save is going to be right around here, I think. Yep. We are in the end game. So we've got all these cultists. It's cheap effect, but the kind of floating blocks, I, I like that. That's a nice touch. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to be quiet for this. Starting now. Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Hmm. Look around you. Everything is falling apart. You must stop this madness. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. One man, one man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are. A truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written. Or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me!
No, I said be silent, but his footstep sounds don't really match his movement. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Good for the world, not so good for Pierce. I'll do the other endings in a uh, different video. We doubled the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. Good, thank you. 